This tool makes BMW BDC2 key programming so easy. Auto looks outdated. Welcome back to the channel where car diagnostics get demystified and made fun. Yes, fun. Before we fire up today's deep dive into BMW BDC2 key programming, I have one small favor to ask you, and I mean it from the heart. Please pause for just a second and smash that subscribe button. I know many of you watch, learn, and leave, but subscribing is free, fast, and fuels this mission to keep serving you with better content every single week. Let's set a bold challenge today. 1,000 likes and 100 comments within 24 hours. Think we could do it? I believe in you. Let's see that power in action. All right, let's jump into something exciting. Today we're showing you how to add a BMW BDC2 key using the app 2, AP Pro 2. And let me tell you right now, this method is smoother, quicker, and safer than Auto. And yes, I'm going to prove that. So why is the app 2 getting so much buzz? Because it recently joined the heavyweight tools like Auto and AVDI with a shiny new BMW BDC2 software upgrade. Though currently, it's for adding keys only. What makes this tool stand out is its pure simplicity. It's probably the lowest risk and most user-friendly way to program a BDC2 key that's available on the market right now. No need to find any reset point on the module. No manual interference. No soldering nightmares. The tool backs up the original coding automatically and gets the job done in just a few minutes. Seriously, it's like plug play done. You'll need an OEM BDC2 key, and with future updates, it's expected to support all keys loss situations and other high-level features. So, how does the magic happen? First things first, to use this function, you'll need the authorization for FN0050, BMW BDC02, G Serial, IMMO matching. But if you're using the full version of App 2, don't worry. It already comes with the license activated, unlike Auto, which requires a license per VIN. That's a huge win if you're working on multiple vehicles. Now let's talk about the models this supports because the list is quite impressive. It covers a wide range of BMW G Series models, such as the 5 Series including G30 from November 2016 to June 2020, G31 from March 2017 to June 2020, and G38, same range. The Sleek 6 Series G32 from July 2017 to June 2020. The Luxury Pact 7 Series G11 and G12 from July 2015 to February 2019. The Beastly M5 F90 from November 2017 to June 2020. And then, of course, the ever-popular SUVs like the X3 and X4, covering various trims like G08, F97, G01, G02, and F98, with production years ranging from 2017 all the way through mid-2021. Imagine all of that, unlocked with one tool. Now, let's walk through the actual process, because this is where the fun begins. It starts with the basics. Step 1. Preparation and Required Tools You'll need your app to host uh, a USB cable, a reliable 12 VAC DC power supply, which you'll need to purchase separately, and most importantly, the A17 BDC02 adapter, which comes bundled with the FN0050 module. Before you get rolling, make sure your app2 software is fully updated. This is critical. Step 2. Identify the vehicle. Use BMW's auto recognition feature, code 0049, to let the tool identify the vehicle model for you automatically through OBD. Easy, right? Once the system identifies the model, Navigate to BMW BDC02 G Serial 0050 and keep your eyes open for any errors before proceeding. Step 3. BDC02 Module Location and Removal Now here's the hardware side of things. You'll find the BDC02 module located on the front passenger side, just like in the older FEM slash BDC models. It's pretty accessible, and the removal method is practically the same. Make sure the vehicle is operating normally before removal and take a few quick notes or photos to document the condition. Trust me, this helps. Once the module is out, we move into the pre-processing phase and you've got two wiring options, with soldering or without. 
The no soldering method using the A17 adapter is a total lifesaver. The signals are color coded and explained clearly red for power, black for ground, white for reset, and brown for the boot signal. There's even a wiring diagram provided, so you can't go wrong. Step 4 Pre processing and data backup. This is where App 2 starts flexing. You'll back up the original coding data directly through OBD, then begin the pre-processing. It only takes about three to four minutes. During this time, keep the hose connected to a stable 12V power source and ensure your internet connection is rock solid because the pre-processing process communicates with App2 servers. Once complete, the tool will safely store all the necessary data, including the all-important key password. Step five, key generation. Now we're cooking. Use that retrieve password data and generate your new key. Pick a blank slot, key ID, FFFFFFFF, load the data, and boom, you've just added a BMW BDC2 key in record time. No risky reset points. No license fees per car. No stress. At this point, I just want to say, if this sounds easier than any method you've used before, that's because it is. App2 is carving a path of convenience in the world of BMW key programming. And if you've ever dealt with Auto or AVDI for BDC2, you know how painful it can be. This, this feels like a breath of fresh air. Now, here's my take. App2 has completely redefined how simple this process can be, and I honestly believe it's going to become the preferred tool for BDC2 workbench programming in the coming months. No headaches, no guesswork and no unnecessary steps. But now I want to hear your thoughts. Do you think App2 is the future for BMW key programming? Would you replace Auto with this in your workshop? Drop your honest opinion in the comments. Let's talk tools, workflows, and real-world results. Also, share this video with someone who's always complaining about how difficult BMW keys are to program. They'll thank you later. And hey, if you're still watching and haven't subscribed yet, come on, this is the moment. Hit that red button, ring that bell, and let's build a community of expert level techs who don't just work on cars, we master them. If you like the video, prove it, smash the like button, get those 1000 likes in fast, and leave a comment to help us hit that 100 mark. And if this video made your job easier, even a little, consider showing love with a super thanks. Every bit helps. Thanks for watching, keep wrenching smart, and I'll catch you in the next one. Let's keep pushing the limits of what we can do in diagnostics together.